What's the vibes? Top of the morning, top of the afternoon, top of the evening, whenever this may find you. I'm Dream. Follow me on Twitter, Mr. Dreamy1. Um, sub to the channel, like the video, share the video, comment on the video. Who y'all think I'll win this game seven tonight, man? Who having more, Tatum or, or Jimmy? Let me know something, man. Share the video, tell your people about it, man. This video all blunt money bets. Nothing but blunt money bets, no straights. No analysis, very little analysis, man. Very little. Just know we ain't just throwing these together. Very little analysis. If you're new here, man, you know, uh, just check the record, man. We've been having a great playoff. We're going to keep it up. Um, so, no analysis. Got a couple blunt money bets in the video from yesterday. All my straights in the video from yesterday. Going through these um, blunt money bets and uh, let's cash. First, Duncan Robinson, four threes, plus 750 on FanDuel. Love it. Some of these lines are still available. I'll tell you what I will. Yeah, I, you know, most of these ain't going to move, I don't think. So, Duncan, plus 750. Um, I played the 650. Four threes. Love it. He can hit this in the fourth quarter if it's a blowout. Just playing the entire fourth quarter, which he tends to do. Even if he gets his 23 to 25 minutes, he's been getting the last three games. He can still hit the four there as well. So, um, love it. Love it. Um, at plus 750, can't beat it. Next, Marcus Smart to have 20. Plus 410, same thing. Can't beat it. Like it a little more than that. Put a little more to blood money bet on it. Um, blood money bets on it. Um, well, put a little more than blunt money on it. Um, but yeah, last year, game seven, my boy had uh, 10 attempts, hit three threes out of those 10 attempts, and uh, still had 22. I would not be shocked if he's second in attempts for the team, um, but um, expect him to be third. So he's going to be their third leading scorer, in my opinion, tonight. Could be Derek White. Could be a bunch of people, but I think it's going to be Marcus Smart. He's the one in game sevens who usually tends to be like, all right, I'm going to take the bull by the horns and do this. Um, if anybody, if I get any weakness, any front for my team, or if they need me to step up in the game, he's the one that's going to at least put himself out there. Look at who took the shot before Derek White. So, yeah, Marcus Smart scored 20 plus 410. Uh, next, man, Duncan Robinson, three threes. Marcus Smart, three threes. Derek White, four assists. Band forces got that at plus 3500. Um, well, actually, plus 3100, right? As of before, this video was plus 3500. To me, this correlates Duncan Robinson getting his assists off the BAM um, handoffs um, for the threes, Marcus Smart getting his off the assist from Derek White off the skip or the swing, um, the swing, swing pass because they might not want to let Derek White shoot. They'll be like, Marcus, if you want to hit the threes, you can. Um, so just think it correlates, love the value. Um, and that's how we're going to rock with that. Plus 3000. Um, next, you know how I do with my max unders. Gotta, gotta have one. So we're going Struess under eight points. Um, check my video yesterday to know why I like that. JB under 21. That ain't nothing new. We've been rocking with JB unders. Bam under 18 points. And Caleb under seven rebounds. This is plus, uh, 3000. No, actually I got it at 3,800, I believe. Um, or 33, whatever my sheet say. Um, and it did go down a little bit. It's still in the threes. So, four-legger. Love it. Four guys who've been struggling. Uh, well, three guys who've been struggling. Um, and Caleb, who I just think his line is just went a little too high for me. From four and a half to seven and a half off eight extra minutes. He was already playing 35 minutes <laughs> before. And the line was four and a half. Now he have a 15 rebound game, you know, which is an anomaly in eight eight off eight extra minutes now y'all gonna expect him to get three more rebounds okay um could happen you know i'm just saying if it doesn't i think he goes under by a couple so go ahead and give me those uh a few more stars will be stars jimmy over 26 and a half tatum over 27 and a half bam over 15 and a half jb over 20 and a half al six rebounds tatum 10 rebounds in the game under 203.5 or 203.5. So, um, stars will be stars. All this is easily attainable. Obviously, we got JB going under, JB going over, but he's the type of guy who, um, you know, is boomer bust. So, I had to put him in the stars will be stars, Lay. Um, and I will be putting a dumbed down version of this. That is plus 4,000. I'm sorry, I don't know if I said that. That's plus 4,300. Um, those and I'll run it back one good time. 
Um, but I will be putting a version, a dumbed down version of this plus a thousand on the timeline. So check me out on Twitter. But yeah, Jimmy over 26 and a half, Tatum over 27 and a half, Bam over 15 and a half, uh, Jalen Brown over 20 and a half, Al six rebounds, Al Horford and Tatum to have 10 rebounds and the game under plus 43.36. Not sure what it is now, but I just put that in. So should still be there two more four legger i call this the lean lay uh these have been profitable throughout the year as well four legger plus 1300 we're gonna go Derek white stocks over two and a half jason tatum rebounds plus assists 16 and a half this is at caesars by the way all these other ones been on FanDuel. this is on caesars um so we're gonna go stocks for Derek white over his two and a half stocks um, rebounds plus assists, Tatum, over 16 and a half. We're going to go uh, Marcus Smart, PRA, over 23 and a half, 22 and a half, whatever it is. We're going over that. Um, and bam, over nine and a half rebounds. Uh, those are my leans in the lay. So um, I love them, obviously. Well, I don't love them. Uh, I like them a lot. That's why I put them in the lay instead of uh, straight betting them all. Um, and I didn't feel like having seven units out there for game seven. So, um, yeah. Love that. And the last one, um, the exact score, plus 29,000. So um, last year in game seven, the score was 196 Boston. I would not be surprised today if the score is 196 Miami. I can't find that. I'm going to look. If I can't, I'll play the closest thing to that. But um, I played Boston 100 to win, 100 to 96. Um, just because it just fits how the series has been. Now, it doesn't fit exactly. I'm looking for the Miami version. But these two teams played last year in the Eastern Conference Finals. It went seven. Game seven was where? In Miami. This game seven is where? In Boston. Who won last year? Boston won 196. Won't be surprised if Miami wins in Boston 100 to 96. You got one team that won three straight games. The other team one three straight after that it's just been a flip-flop literal in the flip-flop series like in the literal sense so um why not just keep it all away it's the nba fast fantastic things happen so i won't be surprised if that happens like i said i'm looking for uh the other side of that um but if i can't find it which i haven't been surprisingly a little suspect um i got that off a of fan dude though plus twenty nine thousand and a plus a hundred thousand you know, for the road, um, Gabe 20, Marcus Smart 20, Duncan four threes, and the game under is plus 100,000. Dumb that down if you'd like, but it's really no need to because those are blunt money bets. I just put my three single blunt money bets together with the game under and got plus 100,000. So, hey, let's have a night. Um, <laughs> and um, real quick, as far as money management and gambling responsibly, me personally, I put a unit on my blunt money bets like combined so if i have 10 blunt money bets then i have a unit that i i divide a unit into that you know what i'm saying um you obviously you don't got to do that you can do a quarter unit you can do a half unit you can do a tenth of a unit if i got 10 blunt money bets you can literally put 10 cents on all of them to come out to a dollar it's just for something to watch the game have fun in and uh try and get some good profit quick profit obviously these are researched i'm not throwing these together that's why i've had some success with them um but they are long shots you got plus four thousands out here plus a hundred thousands out here so um for me personally it's been working for me to you know if i got three straight bets out there um, then, you know, I'll go ahead and put one blunt money bet. Sometimes I have six or seven straight bets out there and have one unit on blunt money bets, you know. Um, I tend to lower it. If I only got one straight bet or two, then I'll have even less on my blunt money bets. But that's how I'm attacking this. I had somebody ask me, like, man, you play a lot. I am a high value volume player. It's just how I am. I mean, some y'all seen it. I've, I've had playoff games. I've had days in the playoffs this game where I've literally given out 10 plays plus a live play. Now, luckily, that day we went 7-4, but if I love it, I'm going to play it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a shoot-to-shoot type of guy, so if I can do that with straight bets, imagine what I can do with parlays. Like, imagine what I like and don't play or what I'm like, eh, I'm good on, or this could happen. I think this has a strong chance of happening, or if you ladder those straight, you know, so it's a lot of ways to get to 10 blunt money bets. It really is. It's not hard to, um, so obviously... Um, you know, it's just how I do. Some days I only have four or five, 
But uh, on a game seven like this, yeah, I, I definitely uh, sprayed the clip. So um, I appreciate y'all rocking with me, just giving you a little advice how to do yours. You ain't got to follow all mine. You can use mine for inspiration. You can follow them all. You can follow a couple of them. Fade them. Do whatever you want to do, man. We just going to keep cashing. So as always, y'all know what it is. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. And um, y'all know the vibes, man. Let's get this bread.